in the questions like these, sometimes students tell me they are freaking out when they see those words like paraboloid or disks because they are afraid they don't know how to graph things. So I will show you how to solve problems like this without graphing. Sometimes it's actually not necessary. If you can see that z is given x squared plus y squared, that will be your function inside of the integral. z goes inside r dr d theta. z is x squared plus y squared, which is r squared. So r squared is inside of the integral in polar coordinates. Now you need to figure out what the theta does and r to build the limits of integration. Well, the thing is, both paraboloid, which um, just parabola, but in 3D, so it's basically a hat, and disk, which is literally a circle, but it's filled in, they rotate for, they have a full rotation, as you can see. It doesn't say half side, left side, upper half, whatever. That means that the rotation happens for theta from 0 to 2 pi full circle rotation, like so. So that was pretty fast from 0 to 2 pi. Now you need to figure out the radius. The thing is paraboloid is increasing forever. At infinity for x and y, z goes to infinity as well. But the circle here, and I'm talking about circle x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared. That's my restriction for the radius. Instead of radius blowing up to infinity like it would here, at infinity r goes to infinity. It has some kind of restriction, and that restriction is given by this disk or a circle. So the radius is going from 0 to 3. And now you can start integrating without even knowing the picture. So the integral becomes integral from 0 to 2 pi, from 0 to 3, r cube, cube, dr, d theta. And that is the most important part of problems like this which is not to freak out. Integration goes fast because it's going to be integral from 0 to 2 pi r to the 4 over 4 from 0 to 3 d theta equals 1 quarter is outside. Plug the top minus the bottom. It's going to be 3 to the 4 minus 0 to the 4 times 2 pi. 2 pi shows up from integration from 0 to 2 pi of 1. That gives you theta. Theta plug in top minus the bottom gives you the length of the interval. So the answer becomes 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 gives you 81 over 2. If you simplify this for pi. which also can be given as 40 and a half pi. Both are positive. So we did a good job. In general, if you really want to know what happened with the picture, then definitely draw a paraboloid and then a disk. Paraboloid, again, is a parabola, but uh, in 3D, so it's like a, a ball. It's either looking up or looking down. In this case, z is keep increasing forever, so going up. And uh, z is always positive, so that's why we know it's going up. And then the disk, above the disk. Disk is a circle filled in. So as I understand, the volume we're looking is something over here. So you can see that paraboloid was infinite, but the disk restricted it to have radius only from 0 to 3. And we're looking for this volume. I think that's the case. Uh, theta is fixed from 0 to 2 pi. Radius is running from 0 to 3. Thank you for watching.